Welcome to The Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Automaton. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of chisels and bits, but more importantly, I feel I should probably thank one of my patrons, that being Seth Sith Rebel 15 Thank you for your support and patronage. It is much appreciated. So, as you can see here, I am currently doing the chisels and the bits. Uh, mostly... The chisels, or mostly the bits at the moment. Let's see if I can get this last one. Oh, there we go. Uh, and it's a very tedious but rewarding mod if you take the time for it. Um, as you can see, you can make some really cool designs. Uh, once you get familiar with it, it's not too bad. Uh, it's just that you can really, really get sucked into it, um, as I have <laughs> in this case. I've got a few extra torches just to help me with the uh, lighting with this texture pack it can be a little difficult because the um the bits here let me zoom in can be very difficult to see uh ugh, there you go let alone uh access can i get that one soon i'm like one short so let's chop that one down and then i can show you guys a little bit of a tour of what i've got going on so if i use something like a large cube uh, it will only fill in the space that's em that's missing in that block like this uh provided that I actually aim at the area that it's missing. So there we go. That window is now finished. <laughs> so I found a really nice um, complement to these uh, treated wood doors uh, from Engineer's Doors, which is really amazing, by the way. I love these doors. Um, is that Electrum tends to be about the same color, which is really nice. Let's get rid of this. And this, and I can show you guys some of the things that I did. Yes, there's that's going to regrow. Don't worry. But um, I couldn't find in the uh the platforms mod a platform that kind of like worked to just bring this in so i kind of just chiseled my own little setup here just so that it kind of came flush because i didn't really want it to like restrict my access on either side of the doors here i wanted it to be more uh i don't know just kind of merge into the landscape but still give a little bit of a guidance up the stairs. But as you can see, I, I went with some of these uh, quark framed glass panes, which uh, when you break them, you do get them back, as opposed to a lot of the chiseled glass, you do not. Uh, but in this case, uh, it, because it requires iron, uh, you're basically just taking the frames out, I, I believe, with the glass and everything when you break them. At least that's my immersive definition. Um, and you can see I've got these little tiny, uh, like little, just little detail bits on the, the corners which actually makes it pop. I, I kind of learned this little technique, something similar to that at least from our uh, winter theme build contest, which if you haven't checked it out, I recommend that you do. Let's take these extra torches down just so I don't need that extra lighting. Uh, and I added these little toppers over here, these little electrum sheet metal and, and some, uh, actually it, it's not just electrum, it's electrum sheet metal that I chose because it has a little bit of variance to it, which is what I liked about it, is that it had that variance on it. But uh, then I put a little bit of <laughs> some of the treated wood bits in a circle as well. It's sort of like a little top hat. And I just put it on these every now and then and kind of dressed them up a little bit. And it gives me a spot that I can hop over the fence if I need to. I added these little corners on there, which actually, um, like this here is one that's done. And then up here is one that isn't. Let me uh, get a little bit of some treated wood. And I can jump up and show you that this, if I put a torch down, it's difficult to see unless the light, the sun is like right on it. There you go. You can, well, actually, it's probably better like this. If I zoom in, you can see that there's like some missing bits in here. Basically, like I was showing you before, if I take the right bits, in this case, the, uh, what was it, the Electrum sheet metal blocks, and I choose like a large cube. It fills in the entire area that's missing. Ta-da! Pretty cool. And then uh, that that's just really convenient. I, I like it a lot. It's it's made things a lot simpler to uh, actually make in this case. Get up over here. Uh, I also added in like these little uh, lower like window framing of my own on top of things. Looks like I missed a bit here. Did I miss a corner? No, I got that corner. Okay, it was just a little bit dark. I added these little uh, like spots for the lanterns and the doorways. Um, in this case, I also was using the uh, what is it the, the framed slants a lot in the base. I didn't want to use them too much, but I figured they made sense in a few specific areas, uh, specifically 
you know, in this like little hallway here. But I, I kind of wanted to give it some variation nonetheless. Like this is kind of cool that you can walk in here, get your nice view out the window. Got your nice view out these windows. Once again, I did like a kind of a surround up here instead of the, the plate on these ones because I figured it's a different kind of window. Gave it a little bit of a ledge and just these little downward blocks. Then I framed the door, which I actually really like quite a lot. And then a couple of uh, cyan wool that's been chiseled actually makes a really wonderful little doormat. <laughs> I, th I was rather surprised with how that looked. I was looking through uh, the different chisel and bits stuff. And then, of course, uh, I chiseled a bit this area here. Uh, the the back door and and uh, the uh, the tower uh, are are still incomplete as far as that goes. I did do some of the, the stuff here, but if you notice, this window is just completely open. I haven't even done that yet. And no, I still have not made this tower, but I have made my general living space much prettier to live in. And I also uh, used my bed. I used um, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, inspirations mod. Basically, uh, here, I'll, I'll show you what I did here. I can actually redo it if, if I so desire. I took my red bed that I had, and I just right-clicked in here after adding uh, dandelion yellow to some water, and it colorized the bed yellow. That's it. There we go, and now I've finished using it up. There's none left. Bed is yellow, and, and that's it. It's really cool mod. I like inspirations a lot. Very helpful, very cool. And I figured, you know, I could put this cauldron over here for now. Uh, I can access my blocks of coal coke and look at all, look at all this stuff. There's so much creosote. So much creosote. Let's put some of these up here. Can you, can you tell that I've been doing this for a while? Um, <laughs> made it through 13 blocks of coal coke in this thing. Oof. And uh, I think it's probably a good idea if I use up some of this creosote so I can, uh, well, make more of the cold coke at least one more bottle's worth and i've got some wood in here see i've been using a lot of the treated wood for this um so i'm kind of thinking in this case i might need to just i don't know uh, i i always am going to need treated wood it's something that i'm feeling right now <laughs> and that's still i need more all right be right back all right so there we are no i still don't have a roof just yet the house is prettier inside, but I need to work on that. That'll be the entire next floor, and I have yet to figure out how I'm actually going to get up to it. Um, yeah, kind of thinking maybe this tower would actually be my way of getting up and down around here, but I don't know. I mean, right now I've got some aluminum scaffolding going down into the basement because I, I wasn't liking how it was going. I might, I'm probably still going to redo that, but the time being... I don't really have an upstairs yet, and I am thinking I'm going to need it relatively soon. Specifically um, for my device to fly with, which I'm kind of thinking Vicecraft is going to be important uh, at this point. So in my quest book, I believe we have I Can Show You the World, we've got here. Walking around is tiring and dangerous, and warping around is no good for exploring. Airships are the explorer's preferred method of transport these days. There are also other styles of airships available. They all have the same starting stats and can be upgraded in the same ways. So, we need to make an airship, and then we get the manual and some uh, fuel for it after that. So let's look at making an airship. Looks like it's a level 1 version. Yeah, really basic stuff. So let's see about doing that. All right, here we go. And it looks like we don't even need the airship workbench for this, at least not yet. We could potentially do this on a crafting table, but it will require a lot of materials. And I think this is where I'm going to really try and focus on, because once we get this set up, then I can move on from there. So an airship balloon is going to require a lot of leather. Uh, we've got airship engine. That's not too bad at all, actually. I've got all those. The frame. Um... A bunch more iron, but logic ships? Oh, those are cheap. Okay. <laughs> and then the core itself actually isn't that bad either. I think the only one I'm going to have issue with is leather. Because I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have any leather. And I haven't been harvesting any. Hmm. Looks like I, I on, the only method I know of, at least using JEI, is with rabbit hides or by killing coos. So... I know that there's a lot of coups out there. I might go on a hunt and see if I can find some. I do have my Efficiency Fortune 3 Wub Paxel, which actually should work pretty good 
for getting me some of the um uh, some of the, like, some better drops, I think. At least I think so. Look at that. See, that's looking much better. It, it just, I, I really do need to start working my way up, though. And I, Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to continue on with, like, the uh, the flat surface along there, for at least for the next level up. Yeah, it should be interesting. So I might have a look at the map, and I don't recall anything very helpful. So I am kind of thinking I'm going to head off to the village, and we'll see what we can find over here. Okay, I'm back. That took way, way longer than I anticipated. I ended up with nine leather. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough, uh, because cows were very, very difficult to find. Uh, as you can see, I did a bit of exploring, and that's all I could find. I did find some interesting things that I might visit in the future. Um, yeah, still got some of these other things. And I remember we explored over here, and there's uh, somewhere up here is the... Uh, the water temple as well. We can probably head that way. I did get a few more wooden storage crates, found some more villages, got a few more waypoints. So that's kind of cool. All right, I've made all the other parts, and now I just need to make this last one. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of crafting involved there, but finally I now have my first airship, which I think around the world in 80 days. Actually, I should probably collect the uh, quest loot for it. Let's claim that. And it then goes on to upgrade, which I know is a lot of, uh, you know, abilities need to be done. But if I, hey, cool, if I use this properly, I can therefore access it. So now I need to find out my controls for accessing the menu. There we go. And because I got the fuel, I can insert one. Wow, that, that lasts 14 seconds per. So I put all these in there. That's about eight minutes of flight. Okay, good to know. And uh, I think I just press sneak to exit, yeah? Oh, and it still keeps running while I get out of it. Ooh, interesting. All right, well, what is it to make these Visoline pellets? And will it accept other means of fuel? For example, a bucket of lava. Would it allow me to do such things? Let's click in here use the button. It does work. It ate the bucket, but it gives me 2 minutes 44 seconds. All right, so now if I back out of this and I break it, do I still get to... Yeah, it's still going. All right, well, that's good to know. So we'll accept other methods of fuel, uh, and I'm sure that there is a really handy-dandy, super nifty-looking book that you can use to uh, check this stuff out. Uh, I don't know what my maximum height is with that. Uh, I should probably check it out. I think it was on the uh, on the inventory screen there. Let's not do this inside the base because for all I know, this is gonna be a very bad spot for it. Let's do it right here. Grab this and my maximum height is already maxed out. <laughs> that, that simply won't do. So I will have to do at least some upgrades to this in order to, uh, well, better navigate and at least take off from this house. So I think I'll be working on that next. All right, so as you can see here, it says our basic airship isn't so great, but luckily we can upgrade it. We'll start with the frame upgrade. The frame upgrades will allow further upgrades to our airship. There are five tiers of each upgrade and we get a reward of many more Visoline pellets, which would be good because um, I do plan on using these at, at, at the very least, but uh, frame upgrade. So I think we have to start off with the earlier tiers, and then we can go on from there. Uh, this requires a whole lot of microcrafting. Ugh. Oh, it does require that. All right, well, good thing that I made a whole bunch of logic chips, because it looks like I'm going to need a whole lot of logic chips. And there we go, our first frame upgrade, which gets us that complete. And then we can continue on with core upgrade. Core upgrade increases the speed of the airship. The installed frame upgrade must be the same tier or higher, which is nice. And then this allows us to store more. I'm not as much, not really as interested in storing as much. Oh, and I'd have to get all three of those. Wow. I think we'll go for the core upgrade to, uh, quest next. Uh, so let's make one of those. And there we go. One core upgrade as well. 
which should also activate the quest on that one. There we go. I can now claim more pellets. We can continue on with balloon upgrade. I'm, I'm worried about this one. I don't have enough leather to continue on making more, and every one of these is required. The previous ones increase the maximum altitude crud. This is the one that we need. Of course, this one requires an airship balloon and remnants, which require even more leather. Oh my gosh. Oh, which requires a lot of cows um, and or rabbits. But I mean, I found like five rabbits along the way and they were all babies. So it wasn't worth harvesting for the that to even get one leather. But I think total, if I look at everything I have, yeah, I've got three rabbit hides, one leather. And, and just for the tier one balloon upgrade is going to be eight for the airship balloon plus five per or five of these. So looks like I need at least 13 or so. So I guess it's time that I go out exploring again. But this time I think I'm going to use my um, teleportation network to teleport out a bit further um, and therefore maybe get away from there. I did find some stuff out by this village which was a massive village by the way it's really big uh, especially compared to the one that we're used to this little one down here but um i figure i might do that and then continue heading southwest maybe i can connect this loop so in this case i've changed my uh journey map oh my gosh it's already working uh to read little mob faces instead of the dots that i'm used to uh if only because i i got like a stack and a half of chickens and i just at some point stopped killing the chickens and I think I did the same for the pork. But in this case, I should at least be able to see at a decent radius if there are any cows nearby. And this is already working to my advantage because there's a whole bunch. Well, well, well. I did find another source of leather, but I think I've got enough at this point. So I think, uh, thankfully, I'll leave these ones to it as it's a very rare thing for me to actually get leather from such a thing. Uh, and I could go all the way back to the village down that way, but instead I think I'm going to use my warp stone and just head back home from there. There we go. Very convenient. Very convenient indeed. Reload everything in. Back to the nice good old-fashioned kind of a steampunky looking house here. It's doing pretty good. All right, uh, so Maybe I can now start making some of these. Yes, I can. And then this. I need to make another airship balloon. I forgot. There we go. And done. And that should get the next quest. That that one was actually <laughs> that was pretty darn close. That was that was like five minutes instead of like thirty-five minutes like last time. Oh, that was that was pretty harsh. Engine upgrade. This one here, engine in upgrades increase the efficiency, so you burn less fuel. And again, the installed frame upgrade must be the same tier or higher. Well, let's see what we can do for this one. All right, get a new airship engine, make some of these engine fragments, which is kind of weird. And then I'm actually out of logic chips. Let's make, uh, can I make a couple of those? One, two, there we go. And then I should be able to make this. Engine upgrade tier one. Yay, quest complete. Claim more Visaline pellets, which is just stacking up in my inventory this way. So there's other options besides Pack Mule. What's this one? More speed, Scotty. The speed modules increase both your forward speed as well as your turning speed. Ooh. Ooh, that's that's really interesting. I, I might do that. Altitude. We might do that. Oh my gosh. You can get carried away with so many upgrades on these things. Efficiency module increases the burn time of your fuel, allowing greater range. The only thing I'm not sure of is if you can use all of these at once, or if they're permanent upgrades, like in a general sense, or what. Besides, my inventory is actually getting quite full, so I might kind of dump out some of these Visaline pellets at the moment. And there we go, we've got a lesser speed upgrade, which I don't think that I can go above the tier that I have for, for all the other items. So therefore, I'm just going to be sticking to the basic ones. Can I detect one of these ones? Where was it? Speed. All right, that one's complete. We need a lesser altitude is going to be the next one, but I think that might require... Oh, I thought it would require a bunch of um, more leather for the balloons or something, but I guess not. Instead, this just uses some glowstone feather and a redstone torch. That's not bad. 
There we go, lesser altitude. And I think, yep, uh, that one if I click detect and go back in, yeah, there we go, it's completed as well, so that should remember. And I could always do this as well, I might as well go for the lesser fuel efficiency, uh, increase burn time of the fuel, allowed in greater range, which is always great. And there we go, one lesser fuel efficiency module as well. Of course, I had to grind up one of my blaze rods at this point, but I feel that this is a decent start to my airship. Uh, so let's try putting some upgrades on this thing, but I'm going to do it out here. Like I said, I don't want to explode things in the house. So if I click here, I could do upgrade, modules, customize. Ooh. Uh, let's do the upgrades first. This one, this one, this one. I gotta, what, click, then this, click, oh, balloon, click, and engine, click, and then I think, I think that's it, customize, upgrade, modules, uh, which I think I've got one of the, learn this, learn that, learn that, and I think that was it. Lesser speed, lesser altitude, increased to 255. What? Forward speed increased by one. So what is my, it, currently it's 100. Wow, that altitude's really good. So what do I need to do in here? Cost 15, 15 watts, module menu. See, like, this is what happens when I, you don't read the instruction man, manual. Oh, also got redstone. Redstone balance. Oh, let's. No, 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 no. I don't want to go flying. <laughs> Not yet. Let's get some redstone and toss it in here. I've got plenty of that, so I'll throw some in. In fact, I probably already had plenty of it. But let's click here, throw a bunch of this, apply. Apply. There we go. Heck, I'll just fill that up the rest of the way. It'll probably pop out. Who knows? But if I do this, can I choose one of these now? Ah, looks like I can only choose one at a time. Okay, so... Wait, what? What did I just do? Oh, each time that I did that it cost me some... Oh, wow, okay. Module. So I can, I can keep on pumping more in there. But it, it will cost it every time that I do it. So for now... Let's go with this one. And I guess that's about it. Yeah, my maximum is 255 now. And does this actually get used up over time is what I'm curious about. I don't see it dropping down unless I choose something else. But anyway, we can change the name. We're going to call this one the Mischief One. That cost me some of my redstone. <laughs> Uh, we can change the looks of it as well. Nice. You know, I was looking at this, and honestly, I don't like a lot of the skins that I have available, so I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Um, we've got our upgrades all in here, so that's good. Main menu, we've got all these showing. See, slot one. Ah! So maybe we can get a second slot where we can increase this. But for now, we've got an increase to speed. Fuel is kind of eh. Altitude is 225, so I can go up and down really good. And we ran out of fuel, which is good because it, oh, it even says Mischief 1 right there. That's pretty darn cool. But I was thinking if I can deposit all of my stuff that I've had on me, that, that's a, a good start there. I can then make myself a bunch more fuel. There we go. That should last me for a bit. And then we can go out for a spin. And I think... We could probably head out to some of these more interesting places uh, and, and hopefully not die. I mean, I do have a waystone that I'm probably going to place down at these places just to make sure. <laughs> but I was also thinking um, we might try messing around with this. Now that's, that's like 20 minutes of flight right there. Let's see how good this is. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Let's, let's back up and see if we can get a nicer view of the uh, Mischief Manor here. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I am I got out of it. I'm slowly falling down right now, but it's pretty nice. Pretty nice if I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, let's get back in. And uh, I think we'll go for an explore on the next one. Uh, maybe we'll head over to 
Yeah, I, I see the giant Aztec temple, which is really cool, and it's really nearby, but I was thinking maybe we'd head over to something like some of these other structures that look really interesting. I mean, like this here. I have no... I think that's a church, maybe. And I don't think that I clicked the, the button in there. There's a castle up here and stuff. Maybe we'll just fly around a bit, see what we can come up with. Uh, but for now, this has been a lot of fun, and I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Oh, as the sun sets. So, hey, there we go. Little little flight mechanic that I'm looking forward to giving a test run in the next episode. So until next time, folks, I'll see ya. Bye. Don't forget we stream on Twitch every night about 10 p.m. See you then. Bye.